on guys, Noah with Northern Scavenger here. I touched on this last video that I've been getting really into snorkeling. So today I'm doing a solo mission out to the south shore of Nova Scotia to hopefully harvest some scallops. So I parked in a parking lot here and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm taking my sup out and I'm gonna be paddling along the shorelines doing some recon. And when I find a spot that looks good, I'm gonna park this up, snorkel around for a bit, see if I can find any scallops, and continue onwards. So the spot that I chose was based on the Nova Scotia shellfish harvesting map. You can go on this map, it's an online resource where you can see areas where it's legal to harvest scallops and other shellfish. So I'm gonna be taking a wetsuit, fins and a snorkel. It's a, I think it's about a 15 minute walk to the, the shoreline. It's already really hot outside. It's mid August and it's probably like 25 degrees and it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. This has been a, an obsessive goal of mine for the last few weeks. I think today is gonna be the day. And who knows what else we'll see out there. You can see anything. Hopefully not a shark. Because I'm by myself, I'm gonna have to be extra careful. I'm not gonna be pushing myself in terms of diving deep and holding my breath long and going into areas that I, I feel very vulnerable. A couple things that I should be aware of are shallow water blackouts, and that happens when you do a lot of hyperventilating and holding your breath for long periods of time. The other thing is sharks. Shark attacks don't happen often in Nova Scotia, but they're definitely on the back of my mind when I'm out there. So what I'm doing to start is I'm just kind of doing some recon. The water's very clear and I might even be able to see them just from the sup. From my understanding, scallops like sandy bottoms. And I think you can get them from anywhere from like five to 20 feet. So I think all of this is fair game. Go, go, go. <laughs> All right, we've landed. So this entire bay looks like it has potential. I pulled over on the side here and I think I'm going to use this as a as a home base to start. I'm going to get out in the water, scope out this area, see if there's anything and uh, yeah, go from there. The beach that I started on, there's actually bear tracks there. So I kind of feel a little vulnerable. Bears on the land, sharks in the water. I just kind of feel outside of my element. All right, I'm all locked and loaded, ready to go. This is a five millimeter winter surfing wetsuit. So just putting it on, I'm already sweating profusely. Luckily there's a lot of holes in it. So I'm hoping the, the seawater leaks through pretty quickly.
goal was scallops, but I kept getting distracted by all the beautiful seaweeds and the other cool things that live on the ocean floor. Here is the largest crab I've seen to date. It's hard to tell scale, but it was about the size of my hand. I saw some commotion on the ocean floor, so I went to check it out. Boom. I thought I saw one lobster, but there's a whole colony of them just hanging out. One thing I did notice was the high winds that we were having here did pull up a lot of sediment and sand that I wasn't seeing last weekend. Here's a hermit crab, first one I've ever seen. Very cool little guy, it got spooked very easily. I don't know the type of minnow, but there's a huge bait ball that was magic in the water. They move as one big system and they use that to fool their predator. I saw lots of crabs, but this one in particular was yellow and had a very soft shell, so I had to pick it up. Eventually I made my way into a little deeper water, thinking the scallops might be a little deeper. Here's a lobster in a, a little sand pit that it made. This guy was not happy because I did chase him out. Here we have a camouflaged sculpin, also known as the toads of the ocean. These things are pretty ugly and they're pretty much all head and they don't do much. Pretty much at any spot, if you just looked at the ocean floor, you could see a lobster moving. Very, very cool. Did not think they were so abundant in this area. I was having a lot of issue with my neoprene wetsuit and not having a weight belt staying below the surface of the water, so it took a lot of effort to stay down.
So I just got back to the car. It's late afternoon, so I was on the water for about five hours. So had a lot of fun out there, saw a lot of cool things. So many lobsters. I can't believe how many lobsters were down there. And also there's a ton of crabs as well, but there was no scallops. Looked all over that bay, went from five feet of water all the way to like 15 feet of water. I was searching different types of terrain, like like sandy bottoms, rocky bottoms, eelgrass bottoms. I checked it all and there is no scallops there. Regardless of not seeing a scallop, I had a great time out there. I felt a little vulnerable to be honest, especially the fact that when I got there, uh, this lady was saying that there's bear prints and a family of bears on the shoreline. And also the fact that I'm nervous about sharks in the water. I kind of felt like, I felt like a Snickers bar out there. Once I shook that and I got into a groove out there, I felt so nice out there. Really just floating, looking at the ground, just looking at different sea creatures. Let me know if you guys like these sort of videos. I had a lot of fun out there and I'm definitely going to be doing this again. And would also love to film it for you guys and hopefully work towards getting a friggin' scallop. If you guys know a spot where I can snorkel four scallops that are, you know they're around, direct message me. I will drop whatever I'm doing to come meet you to get a friggin' scallop. Thanks for watching and stay tuned till next time.